There are six words which I think are important in thinking about this and what we've just heard, um, and six words only. Uh, the first two words are Donald Trump. The second two words are Nicola Mendelssohn, and I'll tell you who she is in a moment if you don't know. And the third set of two words are Martin Sorrell. And the reason I mention those three is because I haven't got very long and B, because they bring together the definition of what all this stuff is about. When we look at these polls, we often disaggregate and silo off the various areas of strategy, of operations, of service, of CRM and all these other things. And frankly, I don't I don't view the world like that. Um, we have my approach to, to, to helping a professional service firm grow and any indeed any brand grow is to essentially see everything under these the three headings of, our, of of Donald, Nicola and Martin. And Donald Trump is under the heading of um, whatever our politics are. And I can imagine of the 59 people here, I could pretty well guess where we would want this to end, but uh, you never know. Um, he's possibly one of the best marketeers in the world. When he said the word socialism, he, he mobilized the Cuban vote in Florida. Uh, when he says the word, and we knew he would say it, um, cheat or robbing or stealing we know exactly what he means he has an incredible ability to um, crystallize everything down to its simplest form and that in essence is the role of part one of the brand differentiation that is really the value of marketing brand differentiation and as the word and it's the clue is in the word listening to the market the marketing uh, uh, and i'm not going to try and summarize 50 years of theory and all the books that some of you have read or some of the books that all of you have read um, marketing is about listening to the market. And Richard said in his setup that listening is one of the key words in that particular sentence. You drive awareness by essentially nailing, nailing what it is that people need to hear. And you don't just do that gratuitously, which is probably what Donald does a little bit, but you do it based on um, what you think will work that will help drive your business. So awareness drivers, whatever they are, and Mark Combs, I hate the expression, sorry, Richard, is just one facet of driving awareness, and there are many. And the tap has to be on the whole time. Great brands are 24-7, the way they talk regarding awareness. And Donald Trump uh, epitomizes that. He's never off, and great brands should never be off. So everything that we do as a business is about being on wherever, online, offline, um, in a magazine, uh, in someone's consciousness, wh wherever we can, because awareness drives salience, salience drives consideration, consideration drives growth. And it's a very simple formula. So Donald is my, um, my exemplar for the awareness piece around differentiation of brand. The second part of that, Nicola Mendelssohn, she's the VP for Europe for Facebook. Nicola Mendelssohn knows how to monetize connections She's got a huge black book, but it's not just to Richard's point around the, shop, the, the list of people. It's a real live living organism of thousands and thousands of thousands of contacts that help her drive growth. Connections, which is part two of brand differentiation, is about doing things that are interesting to your audience that resonate um, in the same way that Bucket One and Donald Trump does around awareness. You talk about the things that relate and you go out and you see people in the virtual world. You do it like this. Um, or you do it through our Michigan Academy digital sessions, you curate content and you relentlessly gr bring people in to your, um, to your um, group. You bring people in that will be great conveners that will, that, that will essentially enable you to position yourself with great credibility as a business. So by association, you uh, ensure that people find you interesting. Uh, events, topics, content. Again, I saw the, the thought leadership was somewhere as another line item. It's not. Thought leadership is just, just a subset of awareness driving and connections. So connections and understanding that it's really important not just to know people, but to know why and what you want to do with those people, a critical part of differentiating your brand. And you can do that the way that you create an event, what you talk about, who you bring onto it, uh, and where that event lives now, which is whether it's online, whether it's a 10 minute film of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the event, whatever it is, that's around connecting and that's part two of differentiating your brand. And part three, most critically, and where you don't really need part one and part two, is Martin Sorrell. So Martin is a relentless deliverer of client service. And the service delivery, the brand promise, really ends up, the rubber hits the road with whether your advisors, your partners, your individuals. I've got 550 lawyers at Michigan. Each one of them is the living embodiment of the brand. And if they don't differentiate, if they don't bring to life its business, but it's personal, if they don't help clients see how we can shape their worlds, the world's possibilities for them, 
then we're finished. Then forget one and two, forget Donald Trump, forget Nicola Mendelssohn. Martin Sorrell is 24 seven. Martin Sorrell listens and innovates, brings in new ideas, develops services, uses data. We haven't heard that today. We have a huge function around data science. Data science helps you both grow clients and keep clients. And that's not CRM, it's something else that's really having, and we've got fantastic people, and I'm sure many of you are using that. The fusion of data and creativity is an enormous um, uh, win for any professional service firm right now. And creativity is one of those things that you can't read about necessarily. You really have to live and breathe it and make connections that others don't. So that service point, that fantastic delivery, understanding what great delivery looks like, understanding what clients want, back to marketing, understanding the market, are for, are for me the three things that will bring value to the business and are inextricably linked to the strategy of the business, the purpose of the business, the way the operation is. And I can't, I look at all these lists, Richard, and I just say, no, 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 look at all of them as once as a management team. And each person around the table should be able to add something. Because if you have an alignment of behaviours, I'm sure William will talk about this, of people understanding strategy, of people understanding purpose, of people understanding what great standards are, you will be able to differentiate your brand. But differentiation is about your delivery of your service. It is about the letter that you get at the beginning. The engagement letter is not just a put money on the count, please. The engagement letter is a manifestation of what you stand for. It's all part of a differentiated brand, understanding your market and delivering value and ongoing business growth. And if you need new clients, it's exactly the same as needing new business from current clients. Do those things, align those things, and you've got a chance to win.